and in my mind, you cannot tell me different. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. Y'all see the setup? I mean, y'all see what's going on here? We're finally getting this closet together and I'm loving like how everything is being set up, how it's being positioned. I probably could move some things over some, but for the most part, I think we rocking. If this is your first time being on my channel, girl, what's up, what's good? My name is Courtney, or you can call me B. If you guys are oldies but goodies, we're turning back to the channel for another video this week, then what's up, girl, how you doing? Uh, I missed you. <laughs> on this channel, I specialize in all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and luxury, all while being on a budget. I personally do not believe you have to spend an arm, a leg, a toe, and a foot to look your best, look chic, and feel beautiful. And I try my best to implement that ideology in every single video, and this video is no different. So if this is something that you can see yourself rocking with now and forever more, my darling, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, join the Beehive family, and yeah, let's jump into it. It's been hard out here for a pimp, okay, when you're trying to get the money for the rent. Y'all know I've been on this finding my fashion, finding my style, journey. I've hit some highs, some lows, you know, some some W's, some L's, some major, major outfit L's and malfunctions. But honestly, that's the beauty of it and that's the process of finding your style. And I've honestly enjoyed every single, you know, step of the way. And in this journey of me finding my personal style, I have been doing a lot of trial and error. And in that trial and error period, girl, I have found out some cheat codes, okay? Some little things and some little pieces you can add to any outfit that instantly makes the whole outfit cheat, no matter what you have on. These tips I'm sharing with you guys today is what gets me through. I got a lot of people asking me, how do I pick out my outfits? How do I put outfits together? Girl, it looked like I done did a lot, but I promise you, I don't do literally nothing at all. <laughs> These tips, definitely, they were getting your girl. They were getting your girl together. <laughs> now this first trick, y'all already know, is my favorite, and that is neutrals, monochromatic look, with a pop of color. That is the most easiest way you can make yourself look chic without doing much or anything at all. These looks to me are so satisfying because it gives me the best of both worlds, what I love the most. I'm falling into love with color, but I still have my first love, which is my neutrals, my blacks, my whites, my browns, my tans, my oatmeals. It's so many neutrals. Hey, Shabba Dose. And no matter how much I'm trying to suppress that side of me, I just can't. I can't do it. So, I'm finding ways to kind of assimilate color into that, and this has been the best option. Your girl has been playing with the um, technology side of things. <laughs> I'm talking about some technology. It's a darn app. <laughs> well, that is technology. Anyways, I've been playing with Pig Monkey and putting outfits together, like polyboard style. So I'm gonna insert some outfits that I put together to kind of give you guys a visual of what I'm talking about. But yes, that is a very easy way to make yourself look and feel more chic than what your outfit really was intended for. <laughs> that pop of color can be in a hat, it can be in a bag, it can be in shoes, a scarf, a trench coat, and it does not stop at accessories like your bags and your shoes and all of that stuff. Stuff, you can actually do a pop of color with your top or even with your bottoms. I would suggest for your first time trying to wear color, I would suggest trying to do it with a bag or if not a bag, a trench coat. Bro, just try it, I'm telling you. Now that I've already mentioned coats, that brings me into my second trick and that is to add a trench coat or a blazer. I don't know what it is about this, it just makes me feel so chic, but for some reason I am just drawn to layering my outfits and layering my clothing. I love putting on a jacket, I love putting on layers, I love putting on boots I just love layers like I'm supposed to be somewhere up north I feel it in my bones but I can't I Florida got a hold of me <laughs> designers are getting so funky and fun with coats and blazers to wear there's so many to choose from and so many different types of styles and I am totally here for it with a blazer or a trench coat you can go the basic route by getting your blacks your whites or you can go the colorful route and get in vibrant colors or you can get statement basics or just all around statement statements, you feel me? In the past two weeks, I've picked up two trench coats. Both of them are from Shein. One is this beautiful, oh my gosh, it's, it's so nice. Gold colored trench coat. 
and one that's like this cranberry plummy purple those coats got me right okay they got me ready i'm waiting for the right moment to wear either one of them but they will be worn soon because recently it's been really cold in florida okay so i'm gonna be on somebody's rooftop chili with the goosebumps in my trench coat <laughs> the next trick is to incorporate leather into your outfit leather anything leather pants leather skirt leather shorts leather jacket this is one trick that i have rolled to the wheels fall off okay i have three pair of leather bottoms and i wear them to death all three of them are from shein which i will link them down below but girl they get me through okay it's something about leather that when i put it on I instantly feel like a bad A, like a bad B. I instantly feel like that girl. I put on any top with some leather pants and in my mind, I'm ready for New York Fashion Week. Who finna take me? Like, and you cannot tell me different. Leather can also be dressed up or dressed down. It just all depends on your personal style. I wear my leather both ways cause I have them in shorts, long pants, trousers girl i have them for days i can say now for me trial and airing and seeing what works for me in my wardrobe that leather is definitely a staple for me in my closet and just like the trench coats the leather pants can come in an array of different type of styles um different type of add-ons textures and everything girl bells and whistles added my newfound love has been for brooches, girl. But brooches have definitely been my best friend. Now, up until now, <laughs> I've been using um, earrings as brooches. If you guys are not ready or in the business to buy a brand new brooch, and you guys have a lot of statement big earrings that could be used as brooches, girl, that'll do you just fine. I mentioned to y'all in my last um, fashion video that I use for my birthday outfit a YSL earring that I got from Her Fubble Lux, which I will link down below if that's still available. I use that YSL earring as a pin to add to my jumpsuit it was giving okay like I said up until now I did not have a real brooch but now your girl has a brooch and it's actually the brooch that I mentioned in my luxury wishlist video if you guys have not seen that I will link it down below but girl sis came in yesterday and I'm geeked. I already know what I'm gonna do with it. I already know. So when y'all see it, y'all see it. You better follow me on Instagram. I mentioned in that video that a brooch instantly just makes things ready to wear. And I've been trying to experiment with ready to wear items and trying to see how I can make that fit into my wardrobe without making it too, too, too overdone. Very simple and simplistic, but yet chic. I think brooches are actually essential, especially if you guys are neutral girls. With all the colors pretty much running together, a couple of brooches have caught my eye. But I'm gonna stick beside this one for a while. But the ones I have been eyeballing, I will link down below. Boots and chunky footwear. In chunky footwear, I'm specifically speaking of platforms, platform heels, platform sandals. Platforms are really in right now. They definitely give a chic feel. Um, that's one thing that I'm trying to get into. You guys know I've been eyeballing the um Jeffrey Campbell gold platform sandals. As of right now, I only have my chunky um, Bottega inspired dupes from Shein, which I think are no longer available. I have found other dupes for that boot, so I will link those down below. I don't know what it is about a boot or the chunky footwear that just adds a little bit more extra oomph. You can be wearing the plainest of the plainest outfit. It definitely does very much something. This type of footwear just adds a lot of drama, a lot of heat to your outfit. An outfit may seem a little bit too sleek. Throw in some boots, Throw in some chunky footwear and it instantly just has like a pop of something. Even if your boots aren't chunky, a very sleek boot like the Tom Ford padlock boot, girl. I have to get my hands on them before it, before it stops being at least a little bit cold here in Florida. One of y'all told me that y'all found a dupe of them on Amazon. If you watching this list, you put your girl on, okay? I will leave a few of my personal favorites down below. Last but not least, my final trick to looking chic without doing much of anything at all is to add feathers or fringe. Feathers and fringe is also something that you guys have been seeing a lot of lately and I think it's beautiful. There's something about adding some texture to your wardrobe that just breathes a breath of fresh air into your outfit. The feathers and fringe can be done in shoes, it can be done in clothing, it can be done in a bag. Whatever floats your boat, the possibilities are endless. I specifically want to try these pants that I saw on, was it Akira? And these pants are some trousers with some side swiping of some feathers. This pant actually reminds me a lot. It's actually a dupe 
It's actually a dupe for these Hanifa pants. Um, I'll put the pictures here so you guys can see the, you know, the comparison. But it's definitely a dupe now that I look at it. Hanifa probably did it first because the idea was genius. But for those girls who are those girls, we got the dupe over here um, that does the same thing and it's duping. I've also been eyeballing this bag from Bottega that has the feather detailing as well. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. I'll put the name on the screen. Oh, that's a cute name. It's called the Bottega Beak. So the bag is the Bottega Bonetta Beak Bag, which makes sense because the little flap is like a beak and then the feathers is the... I get it, that's cute. <laughs> If you guys are used to texture and tassels, I highly suggest you guys get into feathers and fringe. It's definitely a fun way to dibble and dabble into, you know, little exciting pieces, you feel me? And yeah, you guys, those are all of my fashionista cheat sheet, cheat code, whatever you want to call it, baby, there it is. Those are things that I have been trying in my wardrobe that actually work for me. They allow me to not think as hard about my outfits when it comes to trying to look and feel chic. And I will definitely be exploring more and getting more in-depth in all of these trends just to see how how deep my love really is. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Boys over here, here, do you understand me? I know we keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, we're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, what? And y'all already know it goes down in the description box, so I suggest you guys check that out. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. If you guys have used or will be using any of these cheat codes that I mentioned in today's video, y'all let me know down below. Leave it in a comment. Let me know what has worked for you, what you guys have been loving, and what is your personal cheat code for looking chic and feeling your best. It's been some chatter and the girls want to know. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. But until next time, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.